Taiwan scientists say they've successfully copied a U.S. company's experimental drug that's shown promise for treating COVID-19. Academia Sinica researchers say they were able to make a small amount of remdesivir starting from scratch. Mass production will require the authorization of the drug's patent holder, Gilead Sciences. Researchers say Taiwan's hospitals should prioritize buying the brand name drug, but that the copycat can be a safety net in an emergency. At present, Gilead's remdesivir is the only therapy that's shown promise for treating the novel coronavirus. Over the past two weeks, this Academia Sinica lab has replicated 100 milligrams of the drug at a purity level above 97%. The synthesis process started on February 6. We needed to order raw materials that ended up being hard to obtain, so we decided to move a step down and start from even simpler building blocks. We created a finished product at the 100 milligram level on February 20th. The team was unable to obtain raw materials due to a global shortage. That didn't discourage chemist Chen Rongjie, who led six of his students in starting the process from scratch. Their synthesis took 20 steps instead of the original 12. On Thursday, they found success at last. You can see that everyone on our team put themselves under enormous pressure. The lab lights were nearly always on. We called in every person we could possibly mobilize. But mass production in the hundreds of grams or even kilograms will require authorization in clinical trials. It's still unknown when or if the drug can reach the market. We should first of all try to obtain the brand name drug. We have now synthesized a replica and it's our hope that we never have to use it. But if the original manufacturer is unable to produce enough of this drug to meet the supply, Taiwan should adopt corresponding measures in that emergency situation. National Taiwan University Hospital recently contacted Gilead for doses of remdesivir, but with the global surge in demand for the drug, its delivery is uncertain. Researchers say that if Taiwan can't purchase the drug, its generic could be a potential lifeline.